This week on The Wire, pundits claim the boom is back, more lenders offer rates below 3%, and finance data shows green shoots. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in finance, real estate, and investment. Let's get straight into our top story this week. Pundits claim the boom is back. So two high-profile commentators claim this week that the house price boom is back. Economist and financial review columnist Christopher Joy Joy declared, declared prices are rising fast again in Sydney and Melbourne uh, and at an annualised pace north of 6%. Pity the perma bears because the great Aussie housing boom is back. Joy says Sydney home value surged an incredible 1.3% in August, uh, the biggest jump since March 2017, and Melbourne prices rose 1.2% in August, the best result since May 2017. Even the subdued Brisbane market has recorded two consecutive months of capital gains, he says. Across the five largest cities, home values inflated more than 0.8 of a percent in August after a 0.1% gain in July. That makes August the strongest month nationally since April 2017. Financial commentator and TV presenter Peter Switzer says, data out of the property market resulted in the Australian Financial Review running with the headline that the RBA's cheap money is firing up house options. But it's not just cheap money, the banks have now been let off APRA's tight lending leash and buyers of today have seen price falls of yesterday are now going for it. So that's our, our top story. Now also moving into our second story. So more lenders to offer rates below 3%. Owner occupier interest rates starting with the two become, could become the new norm, according to Rate City Research Director Sally Tyndall. This week, the Reserve Bank opted to make no changes to the official cash rate, uh, but it is expected to drop the rate again later in the year. With two more rate cuts on the cards, we could see the lowest variable rate drop below 2.6%, potentially even 2.5%, Tyndall says. Lenders will be hard pressed to pass RBA cuts, on in full, but rivalry in the home loan market will keep pushing rates down, even if it's not by as much as the RBA would like. The pressure will force more banks to offer owner-occupied rates under 3%, especially for people with a decent amount of equity in their property. In the fixed rate space, 28 banks already have rates under 3%, with 77 lenders reducing fixed home loans in the past two months as banks price in future cuts. Some of the sharpest rates are reserved for fixed customers, starting with 2.79 for one year and 2.94 for five years, Tyndall says. So our final story for this week is finance data shows green shoots. So the June figures from the ABS show rises in new lending commitments for both owner occupiers and investors for the first time in over a year. And that's according to the Real Estate Institute of Australia. REIA President Adrian Kelly says there were rises in new lending commitments for owner-occupied dwellings uh, for all states, but falls for the territories. The value of, uh, of investment housing commitments increased by 0.5%, with the rise driven by the first rise in New South Wales since April 2018. See, the number of home loans to first home buyers rise by, rose by 2.1% in June, and has now recorded increases in five of the first six months of 2019, Kelly says. The June figures reflect the post-election boost in confidence following the removal of the uncertainty around property taxation. With two interest rates cuts and a softening in APRA requirements, we think the June result marks an upturn in market activity. So guys, that covers off the top stories happening this week. Couple of things before you go now, if it's your first time tuning in and you're a long time follower, welcome. We, we love the fact that you guys spend your time here. Of course, we also love to see all your interaction with these posts. So please like, love, angry, comment, question. Tell us what you think, tell us what you feel. And also don't forget, we've got our Just Ask Tim video series that I do early in the week each week. If you wanna get a question answered, you can send that through too. Now finally, in the only thing that we ask is that you share these videos with your friends and family on your social media platforms so they can get the benefit of this valuable information. And, uh, and guys, once again, it's just great being with you. Okay, so thanks for spending your time here today. I'll be coming at you early next week for our Just Ask Tim video series. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.